Kevin De Bruyne, the injury was a blessing in disguise before City's quest for more titles. Five months after injury, it took Kevin De Bruyne a full five minutes to make his mark. Manchester City trailed Newcastle United 2-1, at St. James Park when De Bruyne came off the bench in the 69th minute. This was his first appearance in the English Premier League since the opening day of the season last August. In typical De Bruyne fashion, he took immediate control of the game, equalizing for City with a stunning shot from the edge of the penalty area in the 74th minute. Then, as the match entered extra time, the Belgian sent one of his precise balls over the top, placing it on a postage stamp for fellow substitute Oscar Pope. He finished the attack with a wonderful goal. The team won three valuable points to add to City's title defense, and De Bruyne did the job, something football fans have witnessed on most weekends throughout the midfielder's illustrious Premier League career. The football world was raving in response to De Bruyne's stunning return to action, and the cliché like a new signing was popularized. Except that new players often need time to adapt, and sometimes they don't succeed at all. Instead, De Bruyne is an absolute guarantee, both for his proven ability and his familiarity with Pep Guardiola's staff at City. I think people abroad were very interested in my return, De Bruyne told the National on his way back to the team hotel from Yas Mall, where he officially opened City Challenge venue Manchester City. On Monday. Obviously the game against Newcastle probably blows things up a bit more. I've been here a long time with the team, I'm the player who's been here the longest now, so I'm at a stage in my career and with the team where I know what my role is. I'm trying to do my best job. A possible face, and I hope the team can continue to do what it is doing with me now. Indeed, the inclusion of the best midfielder in the Premier League into an already stacked squad would delight City and terrify their rivals in equal measure. Furthermore, having missed 27 games this season, including City's Club World Cup win in Saudi Arabia, De Bruyne will only improve as he regains his fitness and sharpness. I've never had an injury like this before, so it's difficult to say where I am in terms of full fitness to play every three days, the 32-year-old Belgium captain said. Fortunately, the schedule is a little lighter at the moment, so I have some time to get back to this level, but I need the games to get into match fitness. So far, this has been a good way to get back. Everything has been going as planned. The light schedule is a result of the Premier League's intermittent winter break, so shortly after De Bruyne's heroics on Tyneside, City made their way to Abu Dhabi to set up a warm-weather training camp and recharge before what is sure to be a hectic second. Half of the season. Over the next few months, City will be fighting to defend the titles on three fronts after last season's historic treble. De Bruyne was, of course, a central figure in the club's success, scoring 10 goals and making 31 assists in the Premier League, FA Cup and first-ever Champions League victories. City were in good form in his absence. The team occupies second place in the English Premier League table, qualifies for the fourth round of the FA Cup, and faces Copenhagen in the round of 16 of the Champions League. If De Bruyne had been available, City would certainly be in a position of greater strength, so they should be full of frustration at not being able to contribute much this season. Honestly, I didn't miss it, he insisted. At first, it was a huge blow, but then I found out I was going to be out for five months, so I didn't have to think about it. I was working hard when I needed to work hard and I actually enjoyed my time off, doing other things doing things with my family, so maybe it was good in a way to be able to reset myself a little bit and get a bit of a break. After playing for a long time, refreshed and revitalized, De Bruyne will once again play an instrumental role in City's silverware quest for the remainder of the season as he has done in the other 13 major trophies he has amassed with the club. While the aim is clearly to win it all again, De Bruyne is not putting too much pressure on repeating the treble. He said, of course the goal is to try to win everything possible, but we know that this is a difficult achievement. We're just trying to do the job we can do. We can't control what other teams do, so all we can do is win the games we can win and see what happens from there. De Bruyne took some time out to meet fans as he officially opened the club's City Challenge experience at Yas Mall in Abu Dhabi. 
The attraction, which is suitable for all ages and abilities, is designed to recreate the atmosphere of the club's Etihad Stadium and put visitors at the heart of the action, with the dressing room, players' tunnel and trophy hall as prominent features.